12th of August is a notable date around the globe as it marks the International Youth Day, a day set aside by the United Nations General Assembly in 1999 to draw attention of the world to a given set of cultural and legal issues surrounding the youth. As a way of marking the year 2020 edition of the International Youth Day in Osho, the Solo Federal Constituency 2 of Lagos State, the Innovative Youth Volunteers Group organized a platform to reawaken the youth in the communities on addressing their common challenges. The theme of this year's event was start Youth Engagement for Global Action. The event, which was held on a webinar platform and staged at the Ejibo Digital Art Library of the Low Cost Housing Estate, Okiafa, had the support of Honorable Ganil Johnson, Member, Federal House of Representatives, and Honorable Jude Idumogu, Member of the Lagos House of Assembly, both representing Oshodi Solo Constituency 2 of the state. The participation of the youth across the 13 wards forming the federal constituency at the event did not go unnoticed. The organizers therefore charged the youth on actively getting involved in taking leadership role in their respective communities and taking up similar roles at the state up to the national and global level. This is a maiden edition of the International Youth Day uh, celebrated in Oshu Solo Federal Constituency 2. We have never had it this uh, uh, beautiful, bringing young uh, minds and leaders of tomorrow together to discuss their future, to discuss their challenges. We have job uh, unemployment. Uh, we have a lot of uh, uh, serious issues created by the pandemic. So many people lost their job. So this is a platform that we created for our youth while observing the social distance because we have over 300 participants that are joining us via Zoom, but only about 20 of them are inside here in the Ejibu Digital Art Library to observe those uh, social distance and to make sure that all our points are driven through. Thank God for, for avenues like this that can make everybody come together, brainstorm, see how we can provide a viable or alternative platform. The youth engagement is not just about violence or thuggery. If you think you have something better to offer, bring it to the table. You say leaders of tomorrow, leaders of tomorrow is today. Because by the time you, you, you realize it, we are, we are in tomorrow. So there's, there's, no, there's no point. We just need to get involved. And this is one of the avenues where I feel we, we can participate, at least if we can brainstorm like this, get resolutions, look for a way forward, then we are, we are moving in, in the right direction. I will first appreciate the convener, that is the Uluwa Shion, for bringing such an initiative up. It is important that we all find ourselves doing something, not sitting back and engaging in, in, in relevant things. That is the only way they can find us capable of accepting the space in which, the, the vacuum in which that will be left in some few years to come. And uh, I urge every youth to, in their own way and every other uh, aspect, continue to believe in their dream. And you must not give up in whatever you believe in. That's where we can all achieve the world in which we all desire. I want to encourage the Nigerian youth, though Nigeria is a very, very hard uh, uh, um, environment to, to survive as a young person, but many uh, young, uh, young people are doing it in the entertainment industry. Many young, uh, young musicians are coming up in the academic space. Many young uh, uh, inventors are coming up. So I want to encourage the youth not to relent, to keep on striving, to keep on engaging their leaders and to make to make sure they capacitively develop themselves so that they'll be prepared for the job ahead. They can be the Martin Luther King of tomorrow, the Mandela of tomorrow, by not resting on their house and challenge the status quo. Nigeria will be better. We all cannot run away from this country. Green card cannot save us. The future of Nigeria solely rests on all the youths once they realize they have that mandate to fulfill. <music>